Raffy learns to swim. Raffy, Raffy, where are you? Time to go to your first swim lesson, called Waddles excitedly. He stepped into her room to check on his little sister, Raffy, but she wasn't there. Just as he was about to leave, he heard something move. He looked over by the bed and saw Raffy hiding underneath a beach towel. What are you doing? Waddles asked. I, I'm not going to my swim lesson, said Raffy, peeking from underneath the towel. I don't want to learn how to swim. But Raffy, learning to swim is fun, said Waddles. Your teacher, Miss LePink, will tell you about water safety and teach you how to be a good swimmer. Feeling better, Raffy gathered up her towel, swimsuit, sunglasses, and sunscreen. She followed Waddles downstairs and off to her first swim lesson. At the pool, Waddles showed Raffy to her class, and then he went to join his classmates. Hi, boys and girls, my name is Miss LePink. I can see you are all ready to learn about water safety and to have some fun in the water, she said. Everyone cheered, including Raffy. Be cool, follow the rule, Miss LePink told the class. That's the first rule. Following the rules will keep you safe. Another rule is swim with a buddy in a supervised area. Does anyone know what that means, Miss LePink asked? Always swim with a friend and only when lifeguards or grown-ups are watching, said Zora Zebra eagerly. That's right, said Miss LePink, and always obey lifeguards. They help you stay safe and can help if you get hurt, she told the class. Miss LePink led the class to the shallow end of the pool. Does anyone know how to tell the shallow end from the deep end of the pool? Raffy knew the answer to this one. I can stand up in shallow water and keep my face dry and the deep water is where I can't touch the bottom, she said. That's right, said Miss LePink. Miss LePink pointed to the numbers on the pool wall. These numbers tell you how deep the water is, she explained. Always check to make sure the water isn't too shallow or too deep. The rule is, look before you leap. You wouldn't want to jump on somebody or something that could hurt you. Okay, let's get in the water and start learning to swim, Miss LePink said to the class. Steps, ladders, ramps, or the sides of the pool are great ways to safely get in or out of the water. One by one, the youngsters entered the water. Great job, everyone. Let's all get in a circle, Miss LePink told the class. Can anyone put their face in the water? She asked. I can, I can, shouted Plato Platypus. Plato dipped his face into the water and then out again, smiling and wet. Very good, Plato. When I count to three, everybody try it. Miss LePink counted. One, two, three. On three, everyone put their faces in the water. Wow! exclaimed Miss LePink. That was great. Now you are ready to blow bubbles. Everyone needs a buddy to be sure you are blowing lots of bubbles. Miss LePink made Denver Dog and Raffy buddies. You first, Raffy, Denver said. I'll hold your hands. Raffy wasn't sure about putting her face in the water and blowing bubbles. Her tail feathers were shaking. Ready, go. Slowly, Raffy took a deep breath and put her face in the water. Denver counted one, two, three, while Raffy blew bubbles. When she finished, she shook the water from her feathers and laughed. This is fun. Raffy and her classmates learned how to float on their fronts and backs. They learned how to roll over from their fronts to their backs. Raffy even learned how to stay in one place without touching the bottom. This is called treading water, Miss LePink explained. Raffy loved her swim lessons. She practiced at home just as Miss LePink said. She was eager to show her mom and dad how much she learned every day. Finally, the class was ready to start stroking with their arms and kicking their legs. Miss LePink made sure everyone in the class got lots of practice. They were all getting so good. 
Raffi could not believe all the great things she was able to do in the water. I'm so glad I'm learning to swim, exclaimed Raffi. Raffi learned a number of cool rules. These rules help keep us safe. Be sure to always follow the rules for the pool or lake you swim at.